Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas and today we're going to make green chili stew. Now I usually I'm going to make this with uh, pork today which is the way I usually make it but I've also made it with beef and one time I made it with venison and it was terrific. There aren't too many ingredients but let's take a look at what they are. We're going to use uh, pork loin. This is a six pound loin. I'm probably going to use a pound and a half to two pounds. And I will be slicing that into slices that are about three eighths inches thick. And then we have one large onion, four cloves of garlic, one can of diced tomatoes, and then we're going to be using about a pound of uh, these frozen green chilies. These are New Mexico chilies from Hatch, New Mexico, and they have been uh, roasted and peeled. But we'll be using those about, about a pound of that. That's two and a half pounds there, so that's quite a bit. They're just the perfect heat for this chili. For this stew. And then we're going to be using a pound of uh, Monterey Jack cheese and we will be shredding that. Well, our peppers are thawed out but we kind of need to take uh, the tops off and also any skin that you might find still on the peppers you want to remove that as well. You can also remove the seeds if you want. Um, I'm going to just leave them in. So uh, get all these tops taken off and get them ready. So we got the tops cleaned off, most of the skin off. Now we're just going to uh, roughly dice our peppers. Oh, do about three quarter inch chunks. We don't want the peppers to totally go away in our stew. We want to be able to see them. So it's a pretty rough dice. And then we'll set those aside for later. And we'll also chop the onions up into some pretty large dice. Just get them uh, chopped up, not too small. And set them aside for later as well. And the garlic, I peeled the garlic. And now we're just going to uh, run it through a garlic press. You don't have a garlic press, you can chop this up real fine as well. It's, uh, it's the way I usually do it. But I got a garlic press not too long ago, so I might as well try to use it. So now it's time to uh, start frying up our meat. We want to just brown it. Put in a splash of oil first. And uh, put in the pork. You probably have to do this in stages. We want to uh, get kind of a little bit of a a little bit of a crust on the pork, and then we want to. Uh, We fry it. We'll be uh, cooking the onions in this same pan, and uh, a little bit of the uh, drippings from the pork will help flavor up and uh, flavor up those onions. 
So I think it's time to turn them. Oh, that looks that looks pretty good. <laughs> so we'll uh, salt and pepper them and cook that other side. So I think uh, these are done. We're going to take these out and set them aside until later. Well, I've turned the heat down a little bit and it's time to uh, get our onions in the pan. And we just want to cook these onions until they're translucent. And they'll pick up a little bit of color from the pan where we cook the meat. Well the onions are about halfway done so let's uh, let's get our garlic in there as well. Get that stirred in. finish cooking cooking these onions. And while the onions are fishing, finishing up, we're going to go back and chop that meat up into bite-sized pieces. So we're just going to uh, cut the meat up into bite-sized pieces. Big, cut them again. And by the time we get this done, the onions will be cooked and we can add the meat back to the pan. Okay, the onions are done. Let's get our meat back in the pan. Now we're going to add in our diced tomatoes. And our green chilies. And get all, that all mixed in. I'm going to add about a third of a can of water as well. Now we'll just let that simmer for about an hour until most of the liquid is uh, has come off and then we'll move to the me next step. Well our green chili stew is almost ready. We're just going to add the cheese and uh, we're going to move that over to uh, a dish here which we've buttered and then add some cheese in. Let's get to it. So we start by putting a layer of our chili and meat mixture in the bottom and then we cover that with our about half of our grated Monterey Jack cheese. And the 
rest of our stew mixture goes on top. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. put the rest of our cheese on top. I'll fill this bowl up. <laughs> Put that uh, into the oven, which you can just hear is just preheated. Uh, put that into the oven until the cheese uh, melts, gets a little bit bubbly, and, and browns a little bit on the top. So we'll be back when it's ready to try. So our green chili stew is fresh out of the oven, and it looks and smells great. We're going to let that cool down a little bit, and then we're going to dig in. So I had that in the oven at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. Everything was really cooked. We just wanted to uh, get that cheese melted, and uh, I think we're ready to give it a try. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get a spoonful out of here. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Let's taste it. These uh, green chilies have just the right amount of heat for this. Not too hot, but uh, you know that they're in there. Mmm. So good. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it that thumbs up. If you get the opportunity to try this, please give it a try. I know that you'll really enjoy it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.